after the crazy week we had where YouTubers were on a daily streak on tickling children, Vitaly decided to come out of his bat cave, put the hammer down and bring justice to the internet. And YouTubers are absolutely shaking right now because their kryptonite is here. They're punching walls. They're angry because this delays their desires, basically. They're punching walls because next time they have to go out with a miner, they have to be super, super careful, careful for Vitaly not to kick in the door and start trolling. Him. As you're aware, Vitaly has his own TV show where his season one, he went on a 10-day streak with bringing famous people with him and start trolling and exposing PDF files. Vitaly Orr decided the season two first one being with YG, that's the one we're gonna talk about, and second one being with the game. Vitaly went to his WhatsApp group that he has around 200 miners there and he sent the broadcast channel. Who wants to get touched by a PDF file for a good two to three minutes and feel extremely uncomfortable and be traumatized? People were jumping down, pick me for your video, I want to be touched. And with the YG four hour stream, they caught around two people they all got trolled they all got exposed they all got embarrassed but none of them were arrested but we're not here to talk about that we i'm here to talk about the interactions with the last person that they caught which got me off of my seat i could not believe what i was hearing what the fuck? What is that, bro? Oh. Holy oh. Shit. yeah what are you what? doing here Hold on. He kissed her neck. He kissed her neck. She's 13. Hold on, what's your? What is going on, bro? Now, season one taught Vitaly a lot of things. Now he has like two security guards with guns and flashbacks and grenades. I don't know why they need flashbacks and grenades. I don't know if it's all for a show or something. I have absolutely no idea why they need a flashback. There's like 10, 20 huge guys around them. They sound like he can do anything. He starts running away. Flashback! Psst! Grenade incoming, take cover. But the security guards are not there to let this guy get away. They're here to protect this guy because a lot of people want to throw hands. Season one, this happened a lot and this can lead Vitaly into some legal action. And he even linked up with the TikTok lawyer, Jayoma, just in case. She, she just turned 13 years old. Do you know who this is? This is fucking YG, best rapper in the game. What's happening? Explain us yourself. So I, I get this messages, right? It tells me. You know, that she's a certain age, right? Yeah. How old did she say she was? How young did she say? Be honest. Uh, at first, she, I think she said like 15, right? All right, before we get to the main dish, I want to talk about the appetizer. He said that they met in a dating app and in the chat, when they were asked how old she is, she said, guys, before you attack me and accuse me of things, she said that she was 15. And now I found out she's 13. So I was fooled. It's actually her fault. What difference does it make 13 or 15? First of all, you absolute donkey. There are chat logs between you two. Did his mind glitch? He was gonna go for like, oh no, she said she was 18. And then midway while his brain was farting instead of 18, he said 15. What difference does it make? And then he's gonna go for what? He's gonna blame the dating app? It's actually Bumble's fault for, you know, allowing this 13 year old in, in this app. I'm going to be suing Bumble. I was fooled. I had no idea that she was 13. Take a good look. 100%. Even if you bring a donkey out here, they know that this person is 100% 14 or 15 years old. Uh, How old are you? I'll, I'll pass. I'll show you my ID eventually. Okay. I, I think I already explained my ID. Hold, Hold on, on, bro. You'd be a dead man. Mm -hmm. I'm on a dating app, okay? First, I'm also interested in psychology. Why do you guys do this? What? what the fuck are you trying to flip? I'll repeat that once again. Why do you guys do this? Let me go shakalaka boomba with the miner in peace. Why do you have to come and ruin the night that I was gonna get lucky? Brother! But I have a few problems with few things in these uh, live streams that happen. First of all, the actions that happen towards these the cupcakes. For example, in this situation, this 13 year old was getting a massage and kisses on her neck. They're putting a minor through an experience like this just for them to come out later on and be like, you got exposed, guys, we caught another one. And guess what happens to these people? 
90% of them don't get arrested. They just walk away. They just get trolled on the internet. And everyone is like, oh my god, they're exposed. And, you know, everyone exactly knows who these people are. Well, guess what? Not everyone is going to be watching this. Not all the victims who are going to be, you know, victims in the future are going to watch this. And these people, they can maybe grow a mustache, grow a beard, and they can get away with it. They can keep on doing it over and over again. Even though the streams are entertaining to watch, I feel like there needs to be more actions to it because they just keep letting people walk away. Thank this, you. Is a, this is awakening and a new beginning. All right, Robert, you're free right. to go. Drive safe, and I wish you nothing but the best. Yeah, you too. If you need anything, bro, I got you, bro. Keep up the good work. The, 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 way, the, the way he got pied in the face, a 22-year-old doesn't deserve it. Or he did. No, he did. And what happened to him? Dabbed him up, okay? They sat down. They, they gave him advice for five minutes. You're not like this. You can be better. And they just fucking let him go. As if they're not going to be doing the same thing the next day. And there has been some rumors over the past few months that Vitaly is hiring actors in this situation and everything is staged everything is for a show and it's all a tv show none of it is real it's kind of like believable and not believable at the same time i wouldn't be surprised since vitaly used to fake all his pranks and he's pulling these things now but at the same time who would want to play a role of a pdf file literally nobody it's just ruining their image for a few hundred bucks and at the same time i mean at least they're doing something about it do i think more can be done probably yes yes there are security guards but they're there just for vitally and the team to not catch a case the lawyer is there to tell people that you will catch a case if you assault this PDF file, basically. It's not there for capturing this guy. But at the same time, Vitaly, I believe he goes to the police, but most of the police do not do anything about the situation because they say the prosecutor, the judge, whatever, is not going to take this case and they're just going to let them go either way. Just a few cases... They actually took it in and they started prosecuting the people and they ended up in jail. And it got me curious. So I went to Google and typed, can you go to jail for talking to a cupcake in a shakalaka boom boom way online in the USA? It says, yes, it's crucial to understand that regardless of whether in person meeting a cure, it may still be convicted. So you can still be charged, but sometimes suggestive language or requests for spicy photos. It can be, you can be charged with shakalaka boom boom crimes. Now, I don't live in the US, but I swear to God, why can't all the laws in all states be the same why is it different one is 16 one is 18 one do not convict the pdf files one do one this counts one this doesn't count it's just very stupid and annoying at the same time and what happened to the guy who said why are you guys doing this what happened to him did they catch him even though he was massaging and kissing a 13 year old's neck nope he got away and vitaly was farting on his face that's about it <laughs> Okay, this is awkward now. <laughs> Even though some of the things I don't agree with, at least someone's doing something about this whole situation. And there is a TV reality show entertainment for people to watch and absolutely shit on these PDF files. Even though they don't get arrested at the end. I don't blame Vitaly for this because I believe he actually goes to the States and asks for the police help. And if they don't help, they're like, he's like, you know what, let's just expose them either way. Anyways, just wanted to talk about that. I think that was absolutely wild with the thing he said. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take care of yourself. I'll catch you at the next one.